Hi everybody, I hope you're doing marvelously well. Today we have a video with our very good friend, Addy. Addy travels in a camper van recording and supporting artists all over the world. He just came back from a two year journey in Morocco. And today we're gonna to share with you his insight of his daily recording adventure. You'll have the opportunity to mix Ahmed Kachina, the current title holder of African Percussionist of the Year. Additionally, we have Lala Tamar. She is an incredible singer who plays her wonderful music all over the world. She headlines many, many festivals with her Andalusian music and more. And straight from the desert, we have Dara tribes who have already had a lot of experience touring internationally in Europe, America, Canada, and Russia. And they have a very unique desert blues sound. This song is a unique collaboration of all three artists with a message that we are all one. So please hang out, watch the journey with Addy. Don't forget that you can actually download these multi-tracks and mix them for yourself. And without further ado, let's check out Addy as he takes us through his journey of traveling through Morocco, working with incredible artists. Today, we take you on our crazy journey through Morocco. So welcome on board. Yalla, let's go. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you Warren for having us back on your channel to share our mobile recording and traveling story. Hey, what's up? My name is Adrian Adipagentny and I started the mobile recording studio Hit The Road Music Studio uh, in 2018. Since 2019, me and my girlfriend Kasia, we are in a camping car, fully equipped with a professional studio. Now with 28 mics, thanks to Luit, two audio interfaces, mic stands, cables, all kinds of stuff that you need to make a decent record. We travel the world and transform houses into professional record studios, supporting local artists with a free or inexpensive records in places where they don't have the possibility to record their incredible music. The idea behind this project is to share that we are all one and it's about to capture the musical, cultural heritage for the bands and have something that they can pass over to the next generation. Music for me is a connector where it doesn't matter where you come from. You can catch a rhythm, you can dance to tracks, even if you don't understand the language. And this is truly magical for me since my whole life. I am a musician since 20 years and started to become a music producer and mixing engineer in 2017. I always maintain a healthy balance between commercial records and free records. The more clients I have from this side, the more we can travel and support other artists as well. By the way, if you'd like to support our project, I created 17 mixing tutorials on ProMix Academy about our mobile recording journey. I guide you through the whole process, how we met the bands, how we recorded them, which mics I'm using, and how I initiate the mixing process, bring those mixes further and finish them. Every mix is made with another mixing approach, with different plugins, with another approach in mind. I guide you step by step through every move that I'm doing there and explain you the syncing process behind it. This is a universal approach that you can use in mixes in different genres. It's more about how a mix works. One day I received a phone call from Warren and he said he would love to make a mixing challenge with the artist that we recorded. So we were talking and thinking about the remix challenge to spice things up. We want to see how you can get creative in this process and what you are doing with these tracks. So the idea was to write a new song and to make a collaboration with artists that we recorded and make one track in different languages that really shows what we learned in this past two years in Morocco, that we are all one. And you will see in this documentary that I created for you, how this song evolved during the time, thanks to the collaboration with every artist, by spicing up the track with their own traditional style. So the idea was to travel to those places, to the desert, to the ocean, and combine all the different music styles while keeping the essence of the track. So let's check out the demo project, how I wrote the track and how I imagined it. And I will guide you a little bit through the, through the thinking process, show you how uh, ideas start and how it develop. This is the main idea of this documentary. So here we are in the demo project. <laughs> And 
And then I wanted the bass kicks in to build some tension. And then it goes to the first verse. So it's like, it's not a complicated track, you know, because I want to leave a lot of space for the influence from the Sahara or from the ocean. So the idea is that the first verse and the first chorus and the first guitar solo is played by the first band. And here I had in mind um, that Dar Dara Tribes will start. Then comes the hook again. And the second verse starts. And this, here I wanted um, Zigro Band. I was imagining Zigro Band there with the ocean chilled out, super cool style that they have. So again, it goes to the verse, chorus, to the solo again. This time for uh, Batal, Mohammed Batal. Batal means hero. Then the song, I imagine it to go into a drop. Very simple, very, very simple, but um, I think it's effective because I just want to give the foundation for the artists to get creative on it. And here I was imagining to have the Riba player, Salah Fafa. Um, the Riba is the Moroccan violin. And to mix it with Ahmed Kachina, he's the current African percussion master. He's so good and such a loving person to make some crazy African rhythms on this one. Um, and all this I wanted to mix with Lala Tamar's voice. These are all things that evolved during the traveling and producing process. Then we go into chorus three and there I had the crazy fantasy to end the track like this with a big rhythm change again. It sounds a little bit crazy, but um, I got inspired by a track from Isuran and Sahara, one of the bands that we could uh, support during our artist support journey, thanks to Patreon actually. Thank you to all our Patreons who financed the album production. Um, it's crazy because we could help with this production to bring the band from the Sahara into European festivals. They got booked for the UK and for France and they got asked from a Spanish radio station to play that track. And this just made me uber proud. This is amazing that the project is really helping. So this is the demo, how we started. Let's see in the movie how this track evolved and why it evolved in that way. So this is the idea. Let's see in two weeks what will come out of this. Studio is hitting the road again. This time with Lala Tamar on board and Kasha from Kreatologia. We have something very beautiful for you. We make a wonderful journey. So we are driving now to the city of Sidi Ifni. This is the last city before we enter the desert. 
We are now on the way to the desert to record with Dara Tribes. Check out what I'm doing in reality. <laughs> in reality. <Like> dark here. <laughs> in reality. We have a nice chat here with uh, Rich Steve Beck and mastering engineer from Silvia Messi, Mauro Applebaum. Mauro. Incredible studio, I learned a lot. I love those chats. And on the side I'm building my webpage. So this is our way from the ocean, from, from the ocean side, from City Kauki to City Ifni, where Led Zeppelin reunited. I didn't know this before and um, we were searching for Robert Plant <laughs> in the city of Sidi Ifni but we couldn't find him. In the 60s and 70s Morocco was full with hippies. This everybody was sharing everything from uh, funky substances to booze to food. The houses were open, the Moroccan houses. People were sitting with them there eating together. They shared everything. Nobody cared which nationality. I can tell you we are now one and a half years in Morocco and it's just the most incredible safest country in the world with fantastic musicians, incredible art. Uh, my friend Hassan, the, the hippie from Sidi Ifni, uh, he said we have tourists since the 50s so Morocco is specialized in tourism. They know how to handle people and and we just went to a restaurant, uh, I think it's called Nomad, Nomad restaurant in Sidi Ifni and you just feel so warm and welcome. And it's not played, you know, it's just like you're part of it and this is just incredible. Yeah, today we take the journey to Tata. You just said. It was a lot of fun. It's a good experience. I agree. <laughs> agree. 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 We landed in this incredible palace in the middle of the desert. It's just magnificent. And um, yeah, we made the half half of our route. It was a little bit exhausting. We drove a lot, also at night, but the view is just incredible and this silence. Silence is the foundation for music. This is the foundation where music is building on. And when I'm driving through this desert, through these incredible empty places, silent places. I just get inspiration to write new tracks, get new ideas and listen more to the inner voice. This is, this is more than a journey just outside, it's also a journey inside and I absolutely love it. This is why I love traveling. So today we will head over to Zagora, a wonderful city and this is the last bigger city before we go really deep into the desert to Tagunit where we where we plan to record with Dara tribes and Isolan and Sahara in Kaspar Aitisburg. We have some more goodies for you. We are creating some more music videos, got more and more people jumping on board. It will take some time, but that's okay. Time is good. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the nature of time and space? <laughs> <laughs> e equal mc square <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, baby. Lens 
landscape in general when you drive, like everywhere, like big rocks. <laughs> Where they come from? Zagora, later going to Tagunit and then M Hamid, the last city before the desert stop. We have some stop before the desert start. <laughs> 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 yeah, we had some incredible time here in one of our favorite places in the Pamir Oasis in Zagora. Alaikum salam, Spabelhead. The head. Absolutely love it here. People are incredible. Everything is so colorful and you know, good vibes, this is incredible. And um, yeah, that's it. Now I go for some water for my motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this was an incredible journey. We have 800 kilometers behind us and meet with the first band Dara Tribes in the desert of Morocco in Tagunit. The first day is the pre-production, we translate the lyrics, see what we can do with the track and the next two days we record the song in Kaspar Aitisful. <laughs> Then I show you the rest. Because this was just the beginning. <laughs> Luckily, Tamar was with us to translate all the conversations as well as Google Translate to really translate the lyrics. <laughs> That's why we love to be in the desert. Music is part of the everyday life. We start the day with music and we end the day with making music. Welcome to Kaspar Aitisful. This is a palace in the middle of the desert and we are always happy to be invited there to make a record with the Arab tribes. We are now in the songwriting phase so we try to find the melody and the rhythm for it. It's the first day of our recording. <laughs> And what 
happened here is that they started to write a completely different track as they wanted to go more into a traditional style of music. So I jumped in with the guitar to keep this direction, this direction of the original idea while leaving space for changes. So let's see how it moves on. <laughs> After all the songwriting session, it's always good to make a break, let the song rest for a while, eat some good Moroccan tagine. This is the traditional food here. After this, we started to record the rhythm section. Becher is just an incredible djembe player. So this was the first day of recording and I thought to make the first day like a demo session and the next day we record the tracks in a really good quality. Let's jump into the project because the song changed dramatically and after I listened to it in the evening we had to make many changes on the next day. So let's have a listen here. <laughs> Maybe you can hear it, um, they went more into this traditional style. So on the next day um, we were working on it to straighten it up and go back to the original idea with their influence, but still keep it more modern and uplifting. <laughs> This was an incredible record session and I want to say one more time thank you Dara Tribes for this incredible time. Now we are on the way to M. Hamid El Gizlan where we record the next parts with Ivoran and Sahara. So this is the last jam session and the last rehearsal before we start recording the parts for the track. The place where we record is the house of Ismail Kujut, the guitar player and manager of the band. Um, it's very reverberant, but I love the sound there, it's so alive. Hey guys, uh, now we are recording the Calabas. This was super quick with the uh, Jambi. Okay, <laughs> it's like a dried fruit with a lot of bass. You can see it in songs like from Tina Riwen, Sastana Kam, how it starts. And um, how I'm recording this? The method that worked for me in the past recordings, in the, in the 60 videos that we made, I put something like a SM57 or sometimes a Sennheiser MD419 that I have. It's like a tom mic on top of it. And the kick drum mic just by the pillow to get some of the low end. 
And later, again in the mix, I put the R bass to a subharmonic generator. And sometimes I put the kick sample, so it really hits like a heartbeat. You can hear the bass in the room. Therefore, we also use the room mic again, like directly behind you. So this is the final position for, for the room mic. It's around three meters away to get the bass from the from the room here. To yeah, fatten it up. That's it. So let's record. You can observe. Ayub is just such an incredible person and a fantastic Calabas player and in general rhythm player also on the Jambi. After the record session, the guys invited us to go into the Sahara, into the desert and have a wonderful evening by the fire, drinking the traditional tea and playing some music. traditional thingy, I bought it today, I wanted it since 2018 <laughs> and today I, I took the courage to buy something, to get some swag and some <laughs> memories and this is the Amazir or Bergmer Kompass and they say it because you see this hole here, so when you're lost in the desert and I don't wish it to anybody uh, at night at night, <laughs> because you have all the stars here, so you hold it up to the polar star and then you will see where it's north, it's like a compass, north, this direction. And then if you know the map, you will be saved, <laughs> you know which direction to go. Yeah, so uh, for the Jambi top we use the SM57 again, and for the bottom AKG D112, typical kick drum mic to get the low end from the gem beat. Always checking that they are in phase together. Oh, this I can show. Let me set them up like this. They take care that the cone, the cones are in phase. So this is the last record session, we got the demos ready. Um, I wanted two alternative endings for the song. So let's jump into the project file and see what we have done here. So this is what we recorded with Isuran and Sahara. In general we recorded for four tracks with them in a couple of days. Um, we made one single with Generation Taragalt. These are, the musicians are always interchanging, you know, everybody can play with everybody. So we made one single with them. We recorded two alternative endings for this track that I would love to show you. And we additionally recorded some instruments for other projects like Cable Street Collective from the UK. So Ayub added some percussion to it. And then for Dean Starling uh, from Russia, incredible musician. It was more like a heavy metal track. So let's jump into the alternative endings here. <laughs>
this is the ending as I imagined it for the track. I will tell you later what uh, happened to it. So I absolutely love this ending. It's, it's incredible and it goes under my skin. It reminds us of this incredible time in the desert, of the wonderful people and of the culture. Wow. And I just absolutely love it. And here is the other song that we recorded with uh, Generation Taragalt. And later we made a music video as well. <laughs> These are the incredible artistic shops with jewelry and all kinds of things that you can imagine in Morocco. We are now in M. Hamid El Ghislan in Dar M. Hamid to record the music video with Generation Taragalt. بدل الحال ما بقى كيف هذا شحال وراه تبدل الحال بدل الحال ما بقى كيف now it gets more and more dense we have more and more record session so after we finished the music video with Generation Taragalt we went to the next session to the next music video shot with Nomad Band in Tagunit We had the unique opportunity to film their traditional nomadic lifestyle in the middle of the desert. So they put up a tent, we made the fire, the traditional tea, they bring in the goats and they made the traditional bread for us. Stay with us, Hanao oh. Dad. Stay with I would love to. Yeah. Every time. Every time. Welcome. Thank you. You're the best. Thank yes. you so much. We it are, means a lot to me. Yes, yeah, so our group and our family also. Stay with us here. Addi, Addi. Addi. Oh, Addi. And so the next day, we made the video shoot with Dara Tribes in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Wow, what an intensive and wonderful time. Thank you to everybody involved for hosting us so kindly and for this incredible experience and record sessions. Now we are on the way back, 800 kilometers back, to another record session with Lala Tamar and Mnat Aishata, the queen of the desert. <laughs> How does it sound? It's beautiful. It's just beautiful.
where punk rock comes from, from Morocco, and this instrument. <laughs> <laughs> this was a fantastic time and we were hosted so well by Minat Aishata Lala Salam. Thank you so much. Now we are on the way to the coast to record the next part for our track. So you can see we always make some breaks and have record sessions in between. Yes, back on board in the legendary jazz club Jazzawir in Agadir. We have 2000 kilometers of travel and recording behind us and this is just the beginning. Just make a, a quick balance. Now we are again in the production phase to record new parts for our song We Are One. This is Ahmed Kachina, the current African percussion champion. Whoa, with the whammy bar! <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we had one issue that the uh, main vocalist Abdelali, he had heavy tooth problems and couldn't join the record session. So we were thinking to just use the backing vocals as the main vocals. <laughs> We wanted more reverb for the drop and change the place. Have a listen for yourself. This was 
just an incredible performance. Additionally, we wanted also more reverb on the ribab. This is the traditional Moroccan violin that Salah Fafa is playing. again a long day and a long night and on the next day we had the record session with Murat and his Gnawa band. like a pro and we recorded Gnawa band from Agadir what an incredible performance really touching and I want to show you how I'm recording like uh, live stuff live performances like this where there's a lot of movement a lot of dynamics and different volumes of the instruments of course you will never catch it 100% um, but I show you some trick because during the tracking phase I heard it's pretty 3D you can hear when they are dancing when they are turning around so let's check the mics that I use and the setup I'm using to record this incredible music our music at first we have the condenser mic here just in a cardioid form to get everything from the front the guys were dancing here um, this is just for, for the middle Pad in the middle also in the mix. So at the beginning we had a small problem to solve because they are singing all three and they are moving at the same time while they are using the karkaba. So what I did is posting two mics, one here and one here. The dynamic microphones, SM57 is perfect to get the 3D image. And here I really have to take care that it's in phase. So I measured the um, distance between the microphones. And we have like, a, how it's called, triangle in the right distance. So everything is in the right phase. So we got the SM57 here from this side and the uh, Sennheiser S609 from the other side. And then we recorded the tabla. Tabal. Tabal, yeah. Ah, not tabla, tabla. Tabal. Tabal. Look at this beautiful instrument. And to record this instrument, we had two of them. So I used the more low end mics here. 
Just making a short rig rundown guys. This one just pointing directly in the middle to get a little bit more definition of the drums. Here the same, it's like a very cheap low end mic from SL. Working perfectly. And one vocal mic. And the last one to bring a little bit more depth and wideness is a, a stereo pair in XY. And this is this one here, exactly in the same distance like the other mics, so everything is in phase. And they are hard panned, hard left, hard right. They are like 50% panned, and the drums are more like 20% panned. So we got a very wide mix. And that's, <laughs> and that's all the magic. That's all the magic I'm using here, eight mics, and of course, the most important thing, this incredible musicians playing this fantastic music and this incredible performance. This is the whole magic. And this is what I could do to capture it in the best way. I hope you could learn something. Um, I couldn't plan this before. It happened all with trial and error. We had one sound check, the mics were a little bit different. and. Then I just have to use my mic, imagine a little bit how the sound goes, and then adjust it to it. Checking that everything is nice in face is the most important thing. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye bye. <laughs> On the next day, we had the opportunity to record with Loving Soul and our brother Medina Suli together with Lala Tamar. Are you ready to go? Okay, go. Mislema. <laughs> 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 Ready to go. Ready to roll. Oh, beautiful team. Saha. Saha. Saha Kuyo. Saha Kuyo. Saha Malim. Yeah, Saha Malim. On the corner of the After all the traveling, many record sessions and very tight deadlines to finish mixes as well as other client mixes, it's my day off. Hey, what's up? Hello. <laughs> this is Paradise Valley. Oh, but how smart without breakfast going this long road. <laughs> <laughs> it's magical. But it's good for your call because we are right, right under the tower. What? Yeah. Woo. Client call with Kuba Malinowski. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to mix? A 10 track album from him. Welcome to the tree house. Thank you. So grateful, just new projects coming in with music that I really like and enjoy to mix. And we received another call from the desert, from Warzazat, and drove the whole way back for another incredible record session. Warzazat is the city where they make movies like Star Wars, James Bond, Gladiator and way more. So we got hired to record in Caspa Chamra with desert blues rock band Tarwan Tiniri for their live stream for Ramadan. And it was a long day and a very beautiful day. They decided to record outside. One funny thing that happened, uh, I think it's my top engineer story. After we set everything up at 8 p.m. and when we pressed the play button, 
the watering system turned on. <laughs> Luckily, nothing happened to anybody and we could move on very quick. The most important part for me is also the exchange and I always love to jump into a jam session with the bands. It's more than just traveling and recording, it's about building a friendship. And after this incredible record session, we received another phone call to record two music videos in the city of Zagoda. So, back deep to the desert. And so it's rolling. We got another phone call to come back to the coast of Agadir to record another full live show. But not without a break on our favorite spot. So we had this interesting beehive. And now I'm just taking some bee samples. We got hired to record in WinArt. It's a cultural center with three mixing rooms, two video editing rooms, and the cinema for the people there, as well as great recording spaces. We got again hired by Lala Tamar and Medina Suli with their incredible backing band to record the live show for the Mimuna celebration. And it's just incredible music. Check it out for yourself.
I think so many music producers can relate to this problem. You start a track, but you never finish it. Now, three and a half thousand kilometers later, and two months later, we had many record sessions, and the initial idea to write a track with all the bands together is not even half done. So, we took the chance that we and Agadir to record with the frontman from Ziggur Band, Abdelali, because, to be honest, It wasn't enough only with the backing vocals. And also we took the chance to make the music video part with Ziggur Band ready. And big shout out to Lewitt and Warren Hewitt for connecting us. And this was the perfect opportunity to test my new Lewitt 441 flex on the vocals from Zigra Band. We will never forget your incredible support. <laughs> video shoot we had a special idea to go to the mountain so you can see Agadir from the top. In general about the track the lyrics from Zigro Band are in Tamazir. It's not Arabic it's the, the language of the native North African people. This was very important for us especially for the track We Are One to have a song in more languages that includes everybody here. After three months of traveling and recording, we made it back to our base in Sidi Kauki, close to Esuira, where Lala Tamar is currently living. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Like the aid? Yeah. yeah. It's like a teeny tiny computer here. That's crazy. That we wanted. Oh, the girl, you can choose one. <laughs> you can choose your favorite form. <laughs> we chose the butt. Can you show them the butt? Yeah. We chose the butt form today. <laughs> It's a heart.
This was an incredible journey. Thank you so much for tuning in into our recording journey. I hope you learned something there, something new. If you have any questions, leave a comment down there in the description. Um, so what happened at the end is we had so many different parts of this track with Dara Tribes, with Zigra Band, with Lala Tamar, and with Israel and Sahara, that the track, the track sounded at the end like a medley of different songs. And this was one of the lessons that I learned during this incredible journey. Um, and it was a hard decision, but we had to cut the part from Israel and Sahara to leave this incredible open end with Lala Tamar after she gave this incredible performance with her wonderful voice. In general, the journey was life-changing for me. Um, of course, it was challenging. Um, driving overnight, recording in the very next day after two or three hours of sleep, um, tight deadlines, like one or two day to record this track, mix it, make the video ready, send it out, and then jump into the car and drive to the next session. So I believe during this journey that I grew not only as a music producer, but also as a human being, as a person. Wherever we are, wherever we are on this planet, in whatever country we are, our own nature is to have a good time together. I think this is the core of humanity. And I think music is for me the easiest way to connect people. It's the universal tone, as Carlos Santana said. And I learned how supportive the music industry is, how supportive all the people are, people who are sending us gear, who want to help our project as much as possible with whatever they have. I learned also to be more focused on a goal when writing a song and how to imagine how it ends up and find the right words to build a creative space but still go towards this goal while allowing other influences to build a synergy with the artist. And this is what makes music great. Just listen to Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, all the old stuff. Everything what was created previously, everything what is running still, ACDC, you know, all this kind of music have the synergy of all the musicians there. And this is the essence, this is the secret of amazing tracks. I'm still learning. I'm learning every day as a producer. I think it's very important to ask questions, to not assume, to not judge, and to stay curious. This is what makes life and our job interesting. This is what makes us waking up with a smile, going to the next project and see what else can I do there. Please let me know in the comment sections if you have any questions to this recording journey. You will be able to mix this track for your own, with a separate mixed breakdown and all the issues we faced by recording one song in three, four different locations and how to glue them together. I think this was the biggest challenge here and to work with the different dynamics, with the different styles from the Sahara and then the more calm style from the ocean, more chilled out, more laid back. I could see how nature, how the surrounding is impacting the music style as well. It's fascinating. Music is a fascinating world. I'm there since my whole life. I'm a musician since 20 years and I will be a musician for the next 20 years and after this again 20 years until the end. Thank you again, Warren. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you, Kali Audio for sending us speakers. Um, thank you to everybody. Thank you to everybody who is watching these videos, leaving a like, share it with your family, Share it with your friends, share it with the guy from the gas station. What is the idea here is I want to show you that everything is possible. I have basic gear. I started with gear that I bought on eBay and we made videos that reached out to 400,000 people. It's not what you buy. It's not the cost of it. It's what you make out of it. And I want to motivate you. I want to challenge you to invite local artists in your area and offer them one free track, one production to collaborate on tracks. People who don't have the money to record, show them some love, make some space in your studio for some free projects and get into this experience. Maybe pack your audio interface, fly somewhere. We did recording 
journeys in Israel where I put my home, home studio into the hand luggage. Eight mics, cables, my laptop, and the teeny tiny audio interface with eight inputs. The mic stands we got by local musicians, local studios, and um, you will make it happen. If you want it, you will make it happen. Stay positive, stay supportive. This is a beautiful community. And um, thank you for purchasing the Promix Academy courses. I believe you can learn a lot there. And I'm looking forward to hear your remixes of this track and your own versions. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to follow us on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, um, on YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us to spread these good vibes and the music with other people all around this planet. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please don't forget to download the multitracks down below. And you can also support Addy's journey by buying his courses. He has a lot of courses and there's a special deal at the moment. And also hit that link down below to get Addy's courses at a heavy discount. So long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, adios, adio, tschüss, goodbye.